question is, um, if we look at life and existence yeah, as uh, from, so the movie, as a movie, right? Yeah. It starts from Adam and Eve and it ends at Judgment Day. If we look at that, there are many different possibilities, many different versions of the movie where, you know, certain people uh, go to heaven, certain people go to hell, right? Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. Can someone give me tissue, please? Has anyone got tissue? Sorry, yeah, yeah, carry on. Is there a version Sorry. of that movie where not one person, not one individual, not one soul goes to hell? Okay, we, we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, thank you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who gave this, Bob? Is this clean? Yeah, it's clean, it's clean. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created us, He's created our action, yes? He's willed it, yeah? yeah? But at the same time, we have the free will to make those decisions. Do you understand? Yeah. So, now, how do they work together? We don't know. How does free will, how does free will, and Allah knowing everything works together, we don't know. And the Prophet ﷺ told us not to dive into it. Okay. Yeah. Is my nose clean? Yeah. Yeah? Um. Let me give you a scenario. I was thinking about this here for a very long time. So I don't believe there is any answer to the issue of Qadr and free will. There is no logical answer. But let me give you something that a lot of people that ask this question, they ask it in a way where they say, oh, but if Allah knows everything, what's the point of me doing it if I'm going hellfire? Yeah, they, rid, they rid their self of responsibility. Okay, let me give you an example, yeah? Dawood and Ali, okay? I believe that I'm going Jannah. He I believes... Go Jannah too. No, 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 you know why? I'm joking. No, 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 you know what I'm saying? Because you're, you're the one that's going to end the Jannah, I'm going to go hellfire, that's yeah. why, yeah. yeah okay. And I know what you're trying to do, don't worry, I've got you behind. So I'm thinking, I'm going to go Jannah. He thinks he's going hellfire, okay? I say, I'm going to go Jannah. I know I'm going to go Jannah, so I don't do good deeds. And uh, Allah will forgive me. I believe in Allah, he believes in Allah. But he's thinking, you know what, I'm a sinner, Allah's not going to forgive me. Me, I believe I'm going to go Jannah, but because I believe I'm going to go Jannah, I'm optimistic, that makes me a bit, um, I don't act upon good deeds. So I'm like, you know, Allah will forgive me, Allah will forgive me. He believes in Allah, but in his head, he thinks he's going hellfire. So what does he do? But he still sticks to the commandments of Allah. Listen carefully. He still prays, he still fasts, he still gives in charity to the poor, he still goes hajj if he can. He does all the good deeds and he stays away from major sins. So in his head, he's like, you know what? I don't think I'm good enough. I think I'm going to go hellfire. Now, once again, I believe Ali believes he's going paradise, but he doesn't do good deeds. Dawood believes he's going hellfire, but he does good deeds. Would he go hellfire or heaven? Huh? He'll go heaven. I believe I'm going to go heaven, but I do no good deeds. Would I go hellfire? Okay. So what does that make us believe? That it's the deeds that count. Regardless of what I think where I'm going. I thought I'm going Jannah. He thought he's going hell. But ultimately, his deeds were counted. Allah weighed his deeds. We're not saying this is the reason he enters paradise. We only enter paradise by the mercy of Allah. However, did his deeds play a role? Even the fact that he thought he was going hellfire, did that cause him to go hellfire? No, it didn't. Me thinking I'm going to go Jannah, yeah? Allah's destined me to Jannah, yeah? I, I don't do good deeds. What was the factor that decided him going heaven and me going hell? The deeds. The deeds. I understand this. Now, if that's the issue here, yeah, no, no. it doesn't matter if, for example, oh, Allah knows. If Allah knows, then how is it my fault? These are all excuses. All that means is the following. Allah has told you that he's unjust, he's not unjust. He's the most merciful, the very merciful. He will never oppress his servants. Allah says in the Quran, what will I get out of punishing you? So Allah is making it very clear, he doesn't want to punish you. Yeah. So therefore, the only thing that I need to do is what? Follow his commandments, follow it, and on the day of judgment, inshallah, I will enter paradise. But if I come and say, oh, but Allah knows, he wrote it, he knew it, just because you don't understand something does not mean... Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, the point of saying... I understand. No, th that's I, the point I'm I, saying. I, yeah, I, and I fully understand yeah. that. <coughs> I also agree that everyone should bear their responsibility. I'm saying, if, if you just stick with me on this movie, the way I'm con uh, I conceptualize this, right? Yeah. The movie. There's not one version of that movie yeah. where not one soul doesn't go to hell. So what? Because this is a problem now. Because Why is God it a problem? Says, because, okay, because God has to be merciful. Yes. Love, right? who, who said he's not merciful because... Let's say one person. How is he not merciful because one person ends up in hell? Because, because 
there has to be some people that have to go to hell in yeah. order to prophesy the prophecies in the Quran. No, 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 no. Allah, so, tell, so Allah, there... Allah says about them because he knows his creation, not the other way around. Not their creation is uh, going hellfire, therefore Allah has to say that. No, no, no. Allah knows that they will be disbelievers. Allah knows that the message will reach them and they will reject it based on arrogance. Because, because there's the version of that movie. No, where... no, 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 no. Let me make this clear. You're saying, why is there not a version where nobody goes hellfire and go, everyone goes heaven? Yeah? Yeah. Okay, what I'm saying is who said that this version needs to exist? Because Allah has created the creation. He's giving them signs. They, a group of them are rejecting the signs. Why this version, the version is very simple. Allah created human beings. And in this version of the movie, Allah sends signs. Allah sends warnings. Allah gives you every reason to believe but you choose not to. So the actual version, the asl of the movie is what? Allah created us. Allah is not unjust. Allah is the most merciful. Allah sends signs. Allah says we do not destroy a nation until we send the messenger. Okay, good. That is the version of the movie. What happens within the characters is what they, the decisions they make. So if the decisions they make lead them to the fire, why has Allah become unmerciful? I understand. It's just that it's hard for me to picture a scenario where there's not one person. Why? It's like, it's like God almost expects that there no, are going to no, be no. This, and, it, and there has to be in order for his prophecies but, to be true. But even look at the term, most merciful, right? You know when the Christians say God is all love, right? It, it denotes the, the idea that God loves everything. It loves everything. Like, regardless of do all love, right? But in Islam, it's, it means most merciful, meaning that there is people who do not receive that, that mercy for a particular reason you know the mercy is earned it's like if you if you believe in god right that's one prerequisite if you don't follow what god has um, ordained that's another prerequisite right and there's levels to this you know so i think the idea is when you, you think of mercy you think it's an all comprehensive mercy that um covers everything but that's not our theology yeah, but God, has God allowed for, for a possibility for, the, for everyone to go to heaven? No, 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 no. You're, you're, you're making a decision based on this. You're saying, why is there not a possibility where everybody I'm, I'm goes parallel? If there is. No, 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 no. no. Check, check this out, check this out. Allah has made it very clear that there is a possibility for everybody to go Jannah. Yeah. Is that, okay. is, is, is that, that correct? Is that correct? No, that, no, is no, that no. true? Is yes, of course. Okay. If Allah is the most merciful, it has to be true. Yeah. Which that's is, ayat, which that's is? Ayat. And that's, that? the, that's not ayat in the Quran. Allah says, if I wanted to, I would have made you all up for one religion. Yes. Really? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, so now. But then, but then, but then, would it, but then, but then would, that would have been oppression. Because if you force it, then what's the point? Now, now, the thing is this Allah enables. Listen carefully, and I'm going to give you an example which will make sense. Allah has given every single person that ever walked this earth a chance to enter Jannah. So I repeat again, Allah says in the Quran, what will I get out of punishing you? Meaning, I do not want to punish you. Therefore, Allah gives every single human being who has walked this earth, the jinn and the man, yeah, an opportunity to enter Jannah. The person himself has said no. Now, out of, free will. out of free will. Now, let me ask you a question. Some people say this. How could Allah be the most merciful? How could Allah be the most merciful if... One second, guys. How could Allah be the most merciful if somebody ends up in the hellfire, yeah? Let me ask you a question. If that person ends up in the hellfire and the most merciful... Look, imagine how merciful Allah is. Doesn't that show how wretched that person is rather than how, why is Allah not merciful? So therefore, if you have a Lord who is Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim and you end up in the fire, you are the scum of the earth. Because imagine the Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, the most merciful, you missed all that mercy and you went fire, you, are, you deserve hellfire. You, des you deserve, actually if I see you in the hellfire, I'll spit at you. Yeah, that, that's how bad. You know why? Because you avoided all the Rahmah of Allah, all of it, and you end up in the fire. My, bro, my friend, you deserve hellfire. And that's what Allah says in the Quran. The people of the fire 
will never say to Allah, why did you put us here? You know what they'll say? Give us another chance. Yeah. Do you know what that means? They means they fully accept they deserve that. Not one of them will say, oh Allah, you unjust to me. Why did you put me here? I didn't choose to do this. None of them will say that. All of them will say, oh Allah, give us one more chance. In fact, no in, more fact chance. in fact, we have hadiths Finish. where there's a man on the day of judgment and he says, oh Allah, I, I thought you were merciful. Yes. <laughs> he says, I thought you were merciful. Just that. Yes. But I, I, I knew you to be the most merciful. I knew you to be the most merciful. And that alone and um, opens up the mercy. But what was the prerequisite? But, but the doubt and Tawheed, yes. Yeah, he believed in Allah first. And then also he believed in attribute of uh, mercy. Because there's another ayat that you were talking about that Allah says that if you were to doubt his mercy, that's kufr. Yes. It's disbelief. So, so, so somebody yeah. who questions that Allah won't forgive my sins, yeah. Whatever sin you're committing, you just said something worse than that. Because you're trying to say to Allah, you're the Rahman and Rahim, but you won't forgive my sin. You just went against his attributes. That's interesting, yeah. Which ayah? Which, which, which surah? Is this, is this, hood, hood, hood. Surah yeah. Hud, which ayah? It's the ayat about uh, the religion. But before you show this, I just want to ask you. Yeah. So, Can you open it here? Open it. Yeah. So you said that this movie where everyone does candles in heaven, Shukran, that, that exists. That, that's so say that again? The movie. No, 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 no. I said everyone has an opportunity, opportunity to enter paradise. And there's a scenario where everyone has fulfilled mm, that opportunity. No, 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 no. We, you said that no, was... no, no. They haven't because we know there's disbelievers. We said there's, 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 you, there's disbelievers. I showed you, I You know that there's disbelievers. No, there are. Is there not disbelievers there right are now? There's disbelievers, right? But I'm yes. saying those disbelievers, if, if they somehow, before they have died, yeah. turn into a believer. And yes, that, and, and yes, it's been like that. yes. For every person. No, 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 no. But we know that didn't happen. We know the prophet's we, we uncle. That, but hypothetically, we have to. No, 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 hypothetically. No, no, no. no, no I just want to make a point. Oh, okay, sorry. I, 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 I'm completely aware that obviously there's some people that have died a uh, non believer, and that's. No, that's many people have died a yeah, believer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And their test yeah. is finished. Yes. They are going to go to hellfire. I understand that. Yeah. I'm saying hypothetically, if everyone has managed to complete the test, right, in the movie, every character in the movie has managed to complete the test, yeah. we'll go to heaven. Does that now agree with the prophecies that are told in the Quran? The no, 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 no. Then, that, no. then that will contradict the Quran. Because, because, no, but that's, no, but that's what, what I'm saying is, Allah is Allah the all-knowing. <coughs> so Allah <coughs> knows there are going to be people who you give the message to and they reject it. So Allah's talked about that. It's not that this prophecy was made up. They it until they die? No, no, no. Yes, yes, they're going to die upon disbelief. This is not something where Allah knows. That's why Allah mentioned this. Why would Allah mention something that He doesn't know? Allah's mentioning that there's going to be disbelievers that's going to reject it, even if they know it's the truth. Which means, which means that, which means, you see, this contradicts saying that everyone has equal opportunity. Yes, they, they, brother, brother, if you have an opportunity to get a specific job, no, 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 and, no, 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 one second. The company gives you, look, there's something called opportunity of, um, something is not the opportunity of outcome. Opportunity, I forgot the word, yeah? If a company gives, says we're looking for these people, everybody, everybody is ready to apply. But if you're lazy, don't wake up, don't do it, and you don't get it, how is that the employer's fault? Employer's fault. I found I found the ayat to support you. May I read it? Yes, please. What are you just saying there? Yeah? Uh, and this is in uh, Surah the Maida, uh, uh, 116. Yeah, it says, and why? Uh, and we have revealed to you, Muhammad, uh, i.e. the Quran, the truth confirming that which preceded it of the scriptures uh, as a, crit a criterion over it. So judge between them uh, by what Allah has revealed and do not follow their inclinations away from what has come to you of truth. To each of you we've prescribed a law and a method. Had Allah willed, he would have made you one nation, united in one religion, but he intended so to test you and what he has given you. So race to all good. To Allah is your to return all together and he will then inform you concerning over the which you used to do. Yeah. You know? So in that, there yeah. had to have been at least one disbeliever for that to be true. No. No, 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 no. What's he, what's he, what's he saying is, what, he, what he's saying is a thing. Yeah. Allah has mentioned this, mm -hmm. and it, and in order for this prophecy to be fulfilled, there has to be one disbeliever going hellfire. At least one. The way you're making it seem, 
what you're saying no, I is... I understand that they have got an opportunity. No, no, no. What, what you're saying is this. How can I put it? You're basically trying to say that... I'm not saying you're trying to say that. Imagine somebody, not Allah, somebody wrote the Quran and he had to give that. So otherwise, if he didn't give that example and if everyone entered paradise, it would rebuke the Quran. Yeah. Good. I understand you clearly, yeah? The problem here is this. We're saying Allah wrote this. Allah is the all-knowing. Allah is the most wise and Allah knows there will be disbelievers, not vice versa. Because Allah mm. knew that, you're thinking somebody came and thought, okay, if I say everyone's going to enter paradise, that's going to make this book look wrong. So let me write, some people enter paradise, so then at least that is something, a reality, and it wouldn't contradict my book. We're saying, no, this is written by Allah, and Allah knows it's going to be disbelievers. And Allah even says in the Quran that if you were show, if you were to show them, the, 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 un, the un, unseen, yeah? They will say, our eyes are bewitched us. Yeah, bewitched. They, look, brother, you know what you're finding hard to grasp? How could someone willingly go hellfire? This is where your problem is, yeah? Am I wrong? You're saying, how could somebody knowingly throw them in the hellfire? Yeah, sure. Brother, you might think that is madness, but this is a reality that happens. I speak to my family members. I give them clear, look, I'm saying here. And they even admit it and they still don't believe. They still don't believe. It's like me saying, it is dark now. He goes, no, it's light. Look at the sun. I'm like, brother, it's flipping dark. He goes, no, there's... So what I'm saying is this. Instead of us questioning Allah's Qadr and questioning Allah's Rahma... Clean, clean, clean. Huh? No, no, oh, she knows it's Yeah? Yeah. Instead of questioning Allah's Rahma and His Qadr, you know what we need to question? Not question how wretched of a man you are, this man, that you, end, you ended up in the hellfire after all the mercy Allah gave you. We should question the man, not Allah's mercy. Do you understand? Anybody that enters hellfire is the most wretched man because all the rahmah from Allah came and you rejected all of it and entered fire. You deserve hellfire. And, and, we, and we talk a lot about this, yeah? You know the idea of like evil human beings? You probably have never met like this, but there are human beings on yeah. this earth. Human shayateen. They're evil, my bro. So what happens to these type of people? And like, in contrast, what happens to those people who were striving? Yeah. They're giving charity. They're sacrificing doing hard work. Doing hard work. Are you going to put those two on the same? Allah way? says in the Quran, how unjust. What is, what is, I don't know you. Allah says in the Quran, how unjust of a calculation that you think a person who does good deeds and a bad are going to be equal? What an, Allah says, what an unjust calculation. So the point I'm saying is in a nutshell, Aki, with these kind of stuff, the issue of Qadr and will, how they were together, we don't know. The example I give you between Ali and Dawood was the example that your actions play a role in where you're going to go. Ultimately, it's the mercy of Allah, yes. And that if anybody ends up in the hellfire, they did it with their own hands. There's yeah. no unjust. Allah is never going to be unjust to his servant. Yeah. On that day, not a single person is going to say, Oh Allah, yeah. you knew I was going to do it and you... Nobody. Nobody. Everyone's going to say, Including Shaitan. We was unjust to ourselves. You know the sermon? You know the sermon of Shaitan? Yeah. Shaitan is going to give a sermon yes. in, in hellfire. You know what he's going to say? He's going to say to the people, All of you, I deceived you. Yeah, I deceived you and you followed me. And, yeah. I, and you had all the force, all the free will not to, but you did. That's, that's what... Because that's what the, they're going to blame him. Yeah, gonna He's going to say, him. all I did is call you. Yeah, I just called does, you. Does, does Shaitan have the power to do this? Move his hand? Does Shaitan have to do this? Yeah. Shaitan will say to him, move your hand around. Yeah. And if you do it... No, well, that's, that's you, bro. And, and this, is, this is central to the idea of free will. Yeah. This is central to the idea of free will. Hope that answers the question, like Zakir Naik says. Awesome, Bro, that's a good question. <laughs> think about a lot of the yeah, stuff we yeah. talked about. I know it's thing, but also, what were you studying? It's not. No, no, are you studying any like, kind of like... No. Okay, yeah, yeah. I mean, I am, but... What? Works. Oh, that's fine. As long as it's not like philosophy, like deep, deep. Do you get it? It could be dangerous as well, you know? Not the, uh, the, uh, the things that we use, but you know, some people... Okay it's okay ask another question. It's, it's a completely you, different type of question. You can, let's cut this. Yeah. Finish. If that's okay with you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah.